upsells and cross sells with bolt upsell is easy. But first, let me show you the difference. An upsell is when you add a product to the cart, you're presented with an offer and it replaces the original product. A cross sell is when the offer adds to the original product. So here's an example. This is a cross sell. I'm presented with an offer. I'm going to add it to the cart. And when I get to the cart, both products are in the cart. I'm cross sold. Now here's an example of an upsell. I'm going to add this to the cart. One pound bag of coffee. I'm presented with a two pound bag of coffee. When I add it to the cart, I only have the two pound. It replaces the original one. Uh, and here's the key. You can actually do both. So here's an example where I'm going to be upsold on a better coffee maker. And now I'm cross sold. This is a funnel. Make sure you watch the funnels video. So you can upsell and cross sell in the same funnel all at the same time. So I got upsold a better coffee maker and then cross sold uh, coffee and glasses. Here's how you set that up in the back end. Uh, you're going to go to your offers panel and you can go under either current offer or create offer. Let's go to create offer for this. And you're just going to give your offer an internal name. This is something you want to be descriptive. So if in the future you need to find this offer, you can. And then you're going to set where do you want to trigger this offer? You can trigger it on the add to cart button, on the checkout or after checkout. Let's do on the add to cart for this. And here's where you set if you want it to be a cross sell or an upsell. Do you want it to add to the order or replace the original item? Let's do cross sell for now. And if you want a product to trigger the offer, just click on your select products as your trigger and pick which items you want to trigger the offer. So let's say we wanted, if the customer buys any of these three items to trigger it, we'd select them there. Um, but let's not do that for now. If you leave all the triggers and conditions blank, it'll fire on every single offer, every single order. Um, but let's go ahead and set a cart value for this one of uh, if they spend $100 to $1,000 and let's go ahead and set a date range. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you want the product image and title to link to the product page, you can set that if they're out of stock to not show, uh, you can set that there as well too. And then if you have funnels enabled, uh, you, well, I'll get to that in a second. So let's set, set up our original offer and uh, we're going to just give it a title. Don't forget coffee. Always good to have an extra bag. You can give a good descriptive kind of call to action here. And then what do you want to offer? So you're going to go and select a product and let's just pick this one pound bag of coffee here. So this is going to be cross sold. It's going to be added to whatever someone is buying. Now, if you did want to set up a funnel like I was talking about earlier, if the customer says no, if you want to offer something, if they say yes, do you want to offer something and on and on, you can keep adding to those funnels, uh, but we're not going to do that now. Watch the funnels videos for that. Let's go ahead and save that. Now I've got my new cross sell here and you can see when it starts, it's actually live right now. Let's go, let's go and see this in the front end of the store. So I had the trigger of hundred dollars. So I'm going to just add seven of these to the cart. And there we go. Don't forget coffee. Always good for an extra bag. So this is a cross sell. So when I accept it and I go to the cart, I have the, cu the cups and this bag of coffee together. Let's go back into the admin and uh, actually change this to an upsell. So I'm going to click edit and you can just edit them live on the fly like this. So it's currently a cross sell. I'm going to change it to an upsell. And the only thing of different about an upsell is you have to have a trigger product because it's replacing a product. You can't have just a dollar amount on an upsell. So if someone buys these specific espresso glasses, it's going to upsell them to a bag of coffee, which doesn't make much sense, but it's a good example here. So I'm going to buy these glasses. Um, now I'm presented with this offer for this coffee. I'm going to say, okay. And now when I go to the cart, I just have that bag of coffee. So I just got upsold. That's how easy it is to create upsells, cross sells, and you can be up and running today. If you have questions, email us at support at boldcommerce.com or join our support forum, or you can learn more at boldcommerce.com slash upsell. Thanks for watching.